I'm 15 years old and I'm standing in a Wendy's bathroom looking at a positive pregnancy test and I'm thinking, this is my fault. See, when I was growing up, I got my period really young. I was 10 years old. So my doctor gave me all the answers to every question I had about anything reproductive related. When I was 15 and I was on the swim team, she prescribed me birth control so I could manage my periods around the swim meets. But my best friend, on the other hand, she didn't have access to contraception. She actually stole her sister's and then asked me for advice on how to take it. So I'm looking at her positive pregnancy test, and I don't think I gave her great information. It took me a few years to realize that it wasn't my fault. Girls shouldn't have to piecemeal information together about their own bodies and about reproductive health and contraception, and then stand in the bathroom wondering, is this my fault? That's a failure of our education system. If women can't make choices about their own bodies, we can't make choices about our own lives. We're not fully free unless we have all the information. This is why we need comprehensive sex education and consent education in America. I was elected in 2016, so I'm coming up on a year. I really enjoy making the policies and laws that the people of Minnesota live by. I, I like being a voice at the table. The Constitution wasn't written by anyone who looks like me, and most of our laws weren't written by anyone who looks like me, or loves like me, or lives like me. The slogan is male, pale, and stale. That's what the ideas are. And uh, we, can, we can add a lot to that. The biggest things I'm faced against are the stereotypes. She feels too black or too gay or too young or too female to represent such a purple district. And people really need to get over some of these things so that we can start doing the actual work. I, I look forward to this next session. I look forward to partnering with legislators around the country to advance safe and healthy communities and reproductive justice and environmental justice and economic justice. There's so much work to be done. My name is Representative Erin May Quaid. I represent House District 57A in Minnesota, that's Apple Valley and the northeast portion of Lakeville, and I do this work because I'm committed to community.